time I turn on the TV or the radio, there's one of these goddamn pundits, one of these experts, <laughs> that keeps saying, it's gonna get worse! It's gonna get a lot worse before it gets better. It's gonna get a lot worse before it gets better. I don't want to hear that anymore in my America, guys. That's something you tell someone you're torturing. It's gonna get a lot worse before it gets The hell of it is we haven't even hooked your nipples up to anything. It's gonna get a lot worse before it gets... I just want to ask one of these guys. Let me shoot a couple scenarios across your mouth. Important experts. How about this? What if it starts raining fire ants? And everybody's like, holy shit, they're right in my eyes. Oh, I don't know. I think it's probably got to rate scorpions before we see any market improvement. Okay, how about this? How about this? How about this? How about this? Hugs make you pee blood. And the only movie left in the world is Cocoon 2. See, I don't know. Cocoon 2 wasn't that bad. It had Steve Gutenberg in it. Kitchen appeal for the kids. I don't know, I think we're at this point where we have this perverse fascination with finding the bottom, finding the absolute low point. And so I've been doing a little research, and who better to ask than recovering alcoholics, right? <laughs> so according to my uncle, uh, things, aren't going, <laughs> things aren't really going to get better until the economy leaves its two-year-old daughter at the off-track betting facility. <laughs> crashes its El Camino into a snow cone stand. <laughs> Look, I don't know when that's going to happen. I'm no economist, guys. She might have been able to glean. I'm no economist. Yeah. I